Hey everyone, welcome to your uh, Bow Valley real estate market update, uh, March 2021. This is the stats for February. This is primarily the Canmore market. And if you haven't been paying attention to the Canmore market, you might want to take a look at it. Um, I don't know what's going on. It is, there's such a high demand and, and low inventory for Canmore. And um, it's hard to even get your head around just why there's such a huge demand right now with Canmore. I, a lot of people keep asking me what is going on, why all of a sudden Canmore. Uh, but my theory is that there's just more people that can work from home. There's more people now that want to be able to just drive to their vacation property as opposed to getting on an airplane. I think COVID's just changed our thinking. And that's just what's created a, a pretty big demand for Canmore. Of course, add that to the low interest rates and you more or less have a perfect storm. You can see here, February 21, we had 66 sales, which is significantly more than year over year. Um, as far as price goes, um, you know, if you take into account all the condos and the detached houses, our, our price range or our medium price is 777200 And um, our detached um, average price uh, came in at one million and twelve eight hundred, and you can see that that's up four point six percent over last year. So we that's a that's a pretty significant amount considering that you know Canmore is the most expensive place to own real estate in the province, and also one of the most expensive places to own real estate even in Canada. And you can see our semi-detached at eight seventy eight eight hundred. Um, and there's a lot of semi-detached that are higher priced than that too. Um, row, pipe, row, row pricing at 656, 800, and apartment at, at 459. Um, I don't know why they have a picture of a high rise there. We don't have any high rises in Canmore, by the way. Um, this is the real estate board that puts these pictures out, not me. Anyway, um, you'll notice though that even the um, apartment condos, uh, there's been a huge surge for um, vacation homes you know properties that you could rent out when you're not in canmore and there's been a really big demand for those as well and low inventory and you can see right now by this stat you know two months supply with the demand that's that's not a lot of supply uh, on a normal year we should be seeing about four or five months supply of inventory 138 um, properties you can see that's down 40 percent um in in inventory. I mean, that's not um, a good number to see. I, I would like this to be, you know, well over 200 uh, on, a, on, a, on an average year in Canmore as we're coming into the spring market, we would normally see about 300 listings. So you can see we're really sit down, down significantly. And what it's created is a lot of multiple offers. Um, a lot of properties are selling in one day. So it, it just has made the market quite tight. And it, and it does make it difficult for buyers. Uh, I'll give you one word of advice. If you are considering coming to the Canmore market and buying, you've got to be in a position to make a decision quickly. And uh, and like I said, be prepared for multiple offers um, on, the, on the really good properties. So just to show you a chart here as far as uh, market distribution for price range, and you can see that, um, you know, there's uh, the biggest demand for real estate is 700 to a million for Canmore. That's more or less really the sweet spot. Um, that's where a lot of people can afford to get into a property. There's a lot of people that even wouldn't mind having a part-time home. And of course, you can get still get a reasonably decent property in that price range. But there's also a tremendous demand, you know, for um, over a million dollars as well. That's what's really um, incredible for Canmore, just how many properties sell over a million dollars. Uh, and then, of course, you see here a lot of the 400 to 500 or even the 5 to 6. A lot of this is in the um, apartment condos that I mentioned where people are looking for short-term situations. Um, and let me just comment on that again. If you are looking for that, there's some very strict rules in Canmore and bylaws on where you can do that and which properties you can do it with. It's a little bit complicated, so please reach out to me if you have some interest in that, and I'll be happy to explain it and walk you through it. Bottom line is, if you're selling, you are going to um, end up getting uh, probably a pretty good price for your property right now with this kind of inventory levels being low 
in high demand. I know I just even sold a detached house up in Eagle Terrace. Um, before Christmas, I would have valued that property at a million one fifty tops. We just sold it for you know a million two. So that's the kind of things that you're seeing in Canmore. And uh, also um, a condo that I just sold in the lodges. Our asking price was five seventy five, and of course we got the asking price. So that's the sort of thing that we're seeing. So if you are interested in Canmore and you're a seller, you know, please reach out to me and we'll be happy to show you just a lot of the strategies that we're using to help you sell your home right now and maximize your sale price. If you're a buyer, um, there's also some strategies in dealing with these multiple offer situations and some of the relationships that I have with other agents in Canmore. I live here full time, so I have a lot of relationships with these agents. It can be very valuable to know what's coming on the market in advance and that works really well working with buyers. So have yourself a good month, everybody. We'll look forward to seeing you for the market update uh, in early April.